you know, you know yeah. what's crazy is we met with the Weinsteins yesterday, and we talking about doing joint, doing the movie on my man Cato from Shottown. You knew Cato. Come on, man. Rest you know, the, I was the biggest nigga nah, in the game. I got the illest story. I got to tell that one. All right, one. let me hear that one. Rest I'm in, in Chicago. Cato. First time in Chicago, Jalen Rose weekend. I'm out there. I'm with my man Mingo and Smoke. I ain't got no whip. I ain't lying. I ain't got no whip. I hit Macho. I said, Macho, don't you got people out here? Whatever. I'm trying. <laughs> and Macho said, hold on for a second. He said, Slay, this dude is going to call you right now. Dude calls. It's Cato. I don't know Cato for anyway. He said, where you at? I tell him the hotel. He pulls up. He has a Range Rover. Then he gives me a bag. He said, yo, here, just hold it. I'm like, all right. I'm, I don't know if it's music, whatever, this and that. I just put it in my hotel room. Like, I'm not thinking about anything. He said, what you need? You need us to come to the club, hold you down, this and that. So I'm a little nervous with people too nice to me too quick. And then, you know, like, because I'm in Chicago. I know how they give it up. I was like, you know what? Nah, we cool. But if you come out, it's love. We go to the event. We do Jalen Rose shit. Everybody's there, Scarface, um, the chick that played in the Players Club, whatever, the, the mm. fine lights. Anyway, we need that. later <laughs> on, when I get back to the room, I'm like, like, fuck, this nigga give me this bag. It's ten thousand dollars in the bag. I call Macho. I said, Macho, what the fuck is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was like, Yo, you caught me. You said you needed. A, you know, I was like, Yeah, but do I owe him? Like, you understand? Like, yo, who does that? Like, He's you understand? I'm saying, Yo, who does that? And then the next time I seen him was at the video shoot with Genuine. We all had to learn. Yeah, he, he was sitting there, he was grabbing chain. my chain. Yeah, you remember? Like, you it was the like crown. the crown. Like, and it was like, Yo, this dude, like, out of nowhere. I ain't never have nobody do no shit like that on a phone call. Like, you understand what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. Yo, like, that nigga, let me tell you something. When I met Kanye West, I see Kato, they like 20 deep. And they fuck, you know, they used to feed all the black niggas. You know, yeah, that's the biggest course. connect. You know, they got yeah. killed by El Chapo. Real talk. Like, directly. Like, you know, they, they said that's, a, that's how big he was. He was the English speaking nigga for Chapo in America. And the nigga turned around and he got this one black dude with him. So I said, yo, Kato, man, who's, who's the black dude with you? It's Kanye West. He's a producer. Yo, Kanye, put my bags over there. This, this, that. Nigga, Kanye West, when I met him, he was carrying his Louis luggage, putting it over. This Louis Vuitton Dom, my mm -hmm. nigga. He was like, he's a producer. I bought him a bunch of equipment and shit. He's, he does the beats. <sighs> Yo, that's that, yeah, that's crazy. That is wife. He's humble. Tell you, it's like his humble. Wife, like this is the humble worst. as fuck. This wife, I can't verify anything, but you know, you can't run Chicago and your gun go don't go off. Like it must be legendary out there, right? But you know, we read through the lines. We mind our business. I got a concert. They waiting for me at the hotel. I pull up. It's about a hundred niggas. I drive up. It's a hundred niggas. Then it's his wife. His wife was the first bitch to, to have the fake titties, ass slim. Bitch was like a wide body kit like this with a pasties on her nipples. And I'm like, yo, okay. You know you when you try to act like you don't see exactly. a bitch butt naked in the middle of the street yeah, yeah. that look like a UFO nigga? Like, you know these niggas get the killing quick? Yo! <laughs> yo, this nigga Raul, the nigga in our crew that's like, you know, the ladies when he gets out the car, yo! What the fuck is yo, nigga? Like, kill us, nigga. Like, get the fuck over here, man. Don't look at her for shit. Exactly. Like, like she knew, yo, nigga. She had the, the nipple rings, nigga. Nigga it was, it was like, oh, don't look over there. Don't look over there. One day, I was, I, we had a party. It was my birthday. I think you was there too. We all dressed up in white. We did a big. Alan Iverson is in there. Kato's in there one deep with his wife. This nigga AI was going crazy. This is when AI was like LeBron James. Yeah. Nigga. He was like, oh no, I got to have her. I got to this. I got oh to that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, 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 this. I had to pull him in the corner. I said, my nigga. They're going to kill you. You ready for early retirement? But in the middle ever? of the basketball court on TV. <laughs> you don't want this at all. Yeah. 
don't he was like no but I never seen me either. I never seen no shit like uh, at that time we see bad bitches yeah. all the time that time we ain't seen shit like that it was like a fucking UFO this nigga was like I got to have it though I got I see your AI Yo. let me explain something to you they're yeah. not just gonna kill you they're gonna kill you in the all star game on the court stop <laughs> For yeah. real joke, no, bro. This ain't no record. They yeah. don't give it to you. Yeah. Bad, bag bag up. Yeah, bag up. Off of that. Yeah. Nah, but they, he was my man. He was a beautiful dude. Good and, uh, dude, man. Good dude, yo. Hump, but just a thing. So not that's the loud, movie we trying to pull not off. Not right aggressive. Now. Oh no. Not like humble. Like he humbly pulled up. Yo, Macho hit me. Fat Joe is my people. Here, hold this. That's you need crazy. a whip. Do you need anything? You need us to come hold you down or whatever, this and that. Humble by itself. You understand? I'm like, so I'm like, nah, nah, you know what? We cool, whatever. You knew when I knew yeah. he was ill, right? He said, uh, uh, we, I went to Chicago to go fuck with R. Kelly. It was like R. Kelly's birthday or something. So over there, you know, Latinos and blacks fuck with each other, but it's different. Like, you know what I mean? Latinos stay with the Latinos and black. Man, and when we pulled up in the black side of town, and then they had threw the whip in the middle of the street and threw the keys like this. And niggas was like, Shh, sh, sh. the whole line opened up. I was like, oh, no, this nigga got to be the biggest nigga in Chicago. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. He threw the shit in the middle of the street. Ah. Shh. Niggas was like, oh, my God. Like, you <laughs> you with him? <laughs> hey, oh, God, this shit was crazy, my nigga. But, yeah, we trying to, we trying to flip the movies for that. I want to see that. That's, <laughs> nah, that's going to be big. And it's a big deal. Like we really yeah. talking to the the powers that be. We really we 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 gonna pull the shit off. And and we know a million gangsters, million killers, million gangsters. This guy was different. This guy Humble. was too different. So you know, out of all the killers and gangsters I know, niggas is like, yo, Joe, what's the one you want to do? I'm like, yo, shh, we gotta do this Kato story. Nah, that's gonna you be. You got R. Kelly in there. You got DMX yeah. in there. You got Joker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>